Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.13 has been released. Here is Minecraft 18W06A. My name is Sliced Lime, let me guide you on a tour through all the changes in this version. First of all, let me apologize for the state of my voice. I have been ill for quite a bit this week and I'm only just recovering, so my voice will probably sound a bit odd. With that said, there are several new things in this version. One is the final big change to the technical revision that was going to be the technical update, which has now been merged with the update aquatic, but here is the last big rewrite for the back end of the game. Making the game better, it is a rewrite of the world generation system. This change has two purposes. One of them is that it is more extendable. You can now provide settings through JSON files, and the other is that it is more efficient. The world generation will now take less time to do the same amount of world generation as it did before. So with the new world generator you will be able to in pretty good detail design the world generator including what kind of structures to spawn. For now it just means that it's faster and there won't be JSON files to create custom structures at this point. Now a whole bunch of caveats with this one because it is the first version with this new world generator. Customized worlds don't work yet. There are plans to re-add them in a much more extensible way, but customized worlds cannot be opened in the snapshot. We'll get to more warnings down the line about this, but let's move on to other new things in this version. Let's talk a little bit about gameplay. There's now a furnace recipe book user interface. It's very similar to the crafting recipe book. Furnace recipes unlock during gameplay and show up when you have a furnace open. Fuel items will cycle through options when you're showing a recipe, but they won't be automatically put in like ingredients will be. Like the crafting recipes, these are customizable with data packs, although fuel is still hard coded. Bugs that have been fixed in this version include the recipe bug tab switching would play sound twice, and holding tab to show the playlist would sort the player names based on ASCII values instead of alphabetically in your language. Also, nether portals couldn't be activated from the side anymore in a previous snapshot, and that has been fixed in this one. Another redstone-related bug fix, flint and steel inside of a dispenser would lose durability even if it didn't ignite. Now, other changes to tech and command stuff, there are new blocks in conjunction to the new world generator. They are air blocks, work exactly like air, but they are called cave underscore air and void underscore air. Cave air blocks are generated, as you might guess, inside of caves. And void air blocks are not generated anywhere, but these might be useful for map makers anyway. In terms of data packs, the paintings.json recipe file didn't use the wool data tag, and that is fixed in this version. There are also some new item and block tags in this version. They are banners, plates, slabs, stairs, and boats. And with the new world generators, there are more structures that can be used with this slash locate command. More command fixes? The slash enchant command has been re-added. It was previously set to be replaced with a modify item command, but that has now been shelved. Might return in a future version, but for now the slash enchant command is back in the game. Command suggestions for entity selectors have also been added in this version, and the white space is now allowed inside of entity selector and block state arguments, so you can now space out your commands a little bit, making it easier to navigate and to read. There are also some fixes for the parser, which would not give error messages on some things that should give error messages, and the tab suggestion has been improved further, so that cycling through values is now done correctly, and also, it doesn't crash the game anymore if you close a square bracket without opening one first. Now, because this is the first snapshot with the new world generator system, it is to be considered very unstable. Parts of the world's generation will inevitably be broken, and worlds opened in this snapshot will very likely not work with the final Minecraft 1.13 when that is released. So, if you are going to open something in this snapshot, do it on a copy of that world not on the world itself. There are some things that we've already heard reported about this snapshot that are broken. The nether generation is weird, you can see all the way down to bedrock in some cases, and there are upside down trees generating in the overworld that look like tree stumps. 
I've also seen reports of some problem with the generation of end city in specific of uh, the frequency of end cities, but I don't exactly know what that problem is at this point. Also, keep in mind that if you open a world in this snapshot, you will not be able to downgrade it and play it on Minecraft 1.12 again. With all of those caveats said, if you want to try it, head into your Minecraft launcher, click launch options and enable snapshots in there. Read the message, hit OK and then go back to your news tab, where you will now have a latest snapshot profile under the drop down for your play button. Select that, start the game and you will now be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 18W06A. That is all for this time. I hope you found this update video useful and if you did, please help me out in return and leave a like. My name is Slice Lime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.